Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at solving absolute value equations. We will use these 10 questions to teach you everything you need to know. It's very important that you watch the entire video for best results. Before we solve the questions, let's look at what absolute values are. Let's draw a number line. So we have one, two, three, and so on. We have negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. The idea of absolute value is that it doesn't matter if you moved two to the right to get positive two, or you moved two to the left to get negative two. Absolute value is only concerned about the fact that you moved two. So we can say that the absolute value of negative two is two, and also the absolute value of positive two is two. Notice that we use these lines to represent absolute values. Absolute value is always positive. The absolute value of a negative number is positive. The absolute value of a positive number is positive. And also the absolute value of zero is zero. Let's look at our first question. Compare the two. The absolute value of negative eight is less than, greater than or equal to six. We know that the absolute value of negative eight is eight. So we are really just comparing eight and six. Eight is greater than six. Therefore, the absolute value of negative eight is greater than six. I'm sure this was pretty easy for most of you. Now let's move on to the actual solving of absolute value equations. The absolute value of x is two. Find x. In our intro, we got to know that the absolute value of negative two is two, and also the absolute value of two is two. This means that for this question, the x value can be negative two or positive two. Both of these will give two. What this implies is that to solve an absolute value equation, whatever is in the absolute value, in this case the x, is equal to the positive or the negative of what is on the other side of the equation, in this case the two. This is the second most important statement in absolute values. So x equals negative two or x equals positive two for this question. Let's look at our next question to make this idea even clearer. Please encourage us to post more videos by liking, sharing, and subscribing. We really appreciate it. The absolute value of x plus three is five. Find x. We said that whatever is in the absolute value, in this case, the x plus three is equal to the positive or negative of what is on the other side. In this case, the five. So we can say x plus three equals five or x plus three equals negative five. To find x, we have to solve both equations. For the first one, we will subtract three from both sides. The three will cancel out. Five minus three is two. Therefore, x equals two. For the second side, we will subtract three from both sides. The three will cancel out. Negative five minus three is negative eight. Therefore, x equals negative eight. So x equals two or x equals negative eight for this question. The absolute value of two x plus three is nine. Find x. I'm sure we are familiar with what the steps are. We will equate two x plus three to positive nine. Then we will equate two x plus three to negative nine. From here, the work is your ability to solve equations. We have two step equations. We will subtract three from both sides. The three will cancel out. Nine minus three is six. We have two x equals six. We will divide both sides by two. The two will cancel out. Six divided by two is three. So we have x equals three. For this side, we will subtract three from both sides. The three will cancel out. Negative nine minus three is negative 12. So we have two x equals negative 12. We divide both sides by two. The two will cancel out. Negative 12 divided by two is negative six. So x equals negative six. Therefore, x equals three, 
or x equals negative 6. The absolute value of x plus 2 minus 3 is 7. Find x. Here we will see that we have minus 3, which is not in the absolute value lines. We want only the absolute value to be on one side. When you have anything outside the absolute value, you have to get rid of it. So here, we will add 3 to both sides of the equation. The 3 will cancel out. 7 plus 3 is 10. So now we have the absolute value of x plus 2 equals 10. We can work on this now. We have only the absolute value part on one side of the equation. We said in this case, you will equate x plus 2 to positive 10, then equate x plus 2 to negative 10. For this part, we will subtract 2 from both sides. The 2 will cancel out. 10 minus 2 is 8, so x equals 8. For this part, we subtract 2 from both sides. The 2 will cancel out. Negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12. So x equals negative 12. Therefore, x equals 8, or x equals negative 12. The absolute value of 2x plus 4 is 6. Find x. Please try this. It's just like the previous question. We want only the absolute value to be on one side of the equation. So we have to remove the 4. We do that by subtracting 4 from both sides. The 4 will cancel out. 6 minus 4 is 2. So the absolute value of 2x equals 2. We have the absolute value on one side of the equation, so we equate the 2x to positive 2, and then equate the 2x to negative 2. We solve it. Divide both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, x is 1 here. Again, we will divide both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So, x equals negative 1. Therefore, x equals negative 1 or x equals 1. The absolute value of x plus 5 is negative 3. Find x. This question is very important. One thing we should know is that the absolute value cannot be negative. So if you have absolute value on one side, then the other side cannot be negative. We say that this has no solution. When you have the absolute value on one side of the equation and negative on the other side, it has no solution. The absolute value of x plus 5 minus 5 is negative 3. Find x. This question is also very important because we want you to know that you should not automatically assume that a negative on one side of the equation means there is no solution. You have to make sure that only the absolute value is on the other side. So here, we know our first step is to get rid of the negative 5. We do that by adding 5 to both sides of the equation. The 5 will cancel out. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. We have the absolute value on one side, but we can see that we now have a positive 2 on the other side. So this has a solution. We solve it. x plus 5 equals 2 or x plus 5 equals negative 2. Subtract 5 from both sides. We will get x equals negative 3. Here again, we will subtract 5 from both sides to get x equals negative 7. So x equals negative 3 or x equals negative 7. The absolute value of 2x plus 5 equals x minus 7. Find x. Here, we are looking at the situation where there is x on both sides of the equation. Please, this question is extremely important. Let's exercise our brain. We will start with our usual process. We will equate 2x plus 5 to x minus 7. Then we will equate 2x plus 5 to negative x minus 7. Notice I put this in parenthesis. This is to make sure we distribute the negative on both the x and negative 7. We want to get the x on one side of the equation. 
we will subtract x from both sides. The x will cancel out. 2x minus x is x. So we have x plus 5 equals negative 7. We can now subtract 5 from both sides. The 5 will cancel out. Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. So x equals negative 12. Now we work out this side. We will first distribute the negative. This is really the same as negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 7 is 7. So we have 2x plus 5 equals negative x plus 7. We go through the same process again. Add x to both sides. The x will cancel out. 2x plus x is 3x. So we have 3x plus 5 equals 7. Now we subtract 5 from both sides. The 5 will cancel out. 7 minus 5 is 2. We have 3x equals 2. We divide both sides by 3. The 3 will cancel out. 2 divided by 3 is 2 over 3. So we have x equals 2 over 3. Now, here is where it gets tricky. When you have the absolute value on one side and the other side has an x value or variable, you will have to substitute each value to check if it satisfy the idea that the absolute value cannot be negative. Let's write our question down here so we can easily use it. We will replace the x that is not in the absolute value by the negative 12. We will get the absolute value equals negative 12 minus 7. This will give us negative 19. Since the absolute value cannot be negative, this x value does not satisfy the equation. We work with the 2 over 3. We replace the x. 2 over 3 minus 7 will give us negative 6.33. This is also negative. We know the absolute value cannot be negative. Since both x values gave us a negative value, we can say this has no solution. Please take none of this. It is one of the hardest version of this kind of absolute value equations. The absolute value of 2x plus 2 equals the absolute value of x minus 5. Find x. Here, we have absolute value on both sides of the equation. The work here is to remove the absolute value from one side and solve it like we have been doing. So I will have absolute value of 2x plus 2 equals x minus 5. From here, it's just like what we've been doing. We will equate 2x plus 2 to x minus 5. Then we will equate 2x plus 2 to negative x minus 5. Notice I put this in parenthesis. This is to make sure we distribute the negative on both the x and negative 5. We want to get the x on one side of the equation. We will subtract x from both sides. The x will cancel out. 2x minus x is x. So we have x plus 2 equals negative 5. We can now subtract 2 from both sides. The 2 will cancel out. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. So x equals negative 7. Now we work out this side. We will first distribute the negative. This is really the same as negative 1. So negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times negative 5 is 5. So we have 2x plus 2 equals negative x plus 5. We go through the same process again. Add x to both sides. The x will cancel out. 2x plus x is 3x. So we have 3x plus 2 equals 5. Now we subtract 2 from both sides. The 2 will cancel out. 5 minus 2 is 3. We have 3x equals 3. We divide both sides by 3. The 3 will cancel out. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have x equals 1. Here, since we have absolute value on both sides, both sides will always be positive. So you don't have to go through the extra steps of verifying the numbers. So our answer is x equals negative 7 or x equals 1. We'll end this video here. Thanks for watching. Please come back and watch all the videos in this series and pass any math test easily. See you in the next video.